Hey, Lily. I have this book for you. It's a sketchbook. And I thought it would be fun to make a journal because I know how much you love drawing and being creative. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a, it's called a junk journal. And each page we're going to spend some time. I'll, I'll record an ideas for you and then you can work at your house and do your own page. Um, you can use my ideas or, and I'm sure you can come up with a bunch of ideas of your own. So I thought it would be fun because I know that you love to draw those girls, those cute girls with the, um, little pretty dresses on so I thought we could make this like a journal of girls and we'll put pockets on the pages so that you can slide the girls down in the pocket and then we'll decorate the pages like maybe their rooms or they're out in the garden but there's so many different ideas <clears throat> so, what we first want to do is, I think a good idea for the first page is I'm just going to take some green paint, or you could take uh, any color you want, and I'm going to simply wet a paper towel and get some green on it, and I'm just going to... Put some color on this page to get it started. Sometimes that's just a perfect way to start a page and get a little bit of color on it. Just pick a color you love. I love this lime green. I think it's so pretty. And I think this is going to be... I don't know. We there's so many ideas. If you um, if you watch YouTube videos on junk journaling, um, there's so many ideas that you can be creative on this page. But that's how I'm going to start this page, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I went looking through my stash of stuff and I'll show you what I mean by that. I have a box that I keep of papers and envelopes and magazine pictures and on inside of envelopes and stamps and quotes and just a whole box of stuff like that I just keep one box somewhere and whenever I see something like this is a this is from a tea bag and it's got these little panda bears on it that's so cute and when I see something like this I think oh that could go somewhere and uh, we could make a little picture with that or a little pocket. So I keep one box full of um, stuff like that that comes in. Like this is <clears throat> a lot of times when junk mail comes in, you end up with, if you look in the inside, they'll have the coolest patterns on the inside of the envelopes. Or if you're glancing through a magazine and you find a picture that you love, I'll bring you a box full of um, interesting things that I've collected and then you can, uh, you can use that stuff and you can add to it. 
But the one thing I found, this was a card I had gotten. Uh, it looks like an invitation to something, but on the other side is this really pretty little um, garden scene. So I'm going to um, glue this on our page and make a pocket, and that's where our first girl will slide into. Um, if you have something, anything that you want to ins to use instead of um, cutting it, I think it's interesting to tear it, and then that way you end up with a cool edge. So we're going to place this metal ruler there. We're going to press really hard, and we're just going to pull like that. So now we have this cool thing that I'm going to put back into my box and we can use that at some point and we have this that I'm going to glue right there at some point and that'll be our first pocket and then we'll draw our girl and she'll slide down in there I made this stencil it's just from a um, you know the sheets that you put in a notebook? They're like plastic, and I just cut some holes in it. So I'm going to embellish our page a little bit. I'm just going to use some green. I've got a cool olive green and a paper towel. And I'm just going to use my own homemade stencil. Put some green paint. You can use um, a paintbrush or you could use a like a makeup sponge. I just have this paper towel right here, so I'm just going to not trying to make this perfect. I just want some little bit of embellishment on my page before I glue my pocket down. Got my tissue wet. I'm just Like that okay again this is just all handmade stuff it's just uh, over the years I collect I save everything okay so when we put our pocket on now we'll have these little green dots they're cute and what we can do is we could take I've got these pencils these are ink tents pencils, and I'm going to pick a green, I think, and I'm just going to quickly circle these. I'm not trying to be exact, I'm going to do each one of them twice. Just putting a circle around them. Okay. These are like, uh, well, they're ink tints, but they're like watercolors. So when you slightly wet them, they uh, activate. And I just wanted a little uh, circle around each of these. Very loosely, like that. Okay, I like that. Now... Let's see, if we wanted to do a pattern, we could uh, take our pink, because we've got pink in this, and we could just put some dots, let's see, what would be cool? We'll just put uh, a dot, 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 dot.
dot, dot, dot. I'm just making, I'm just trying to make a, like a little pattern here. Where else would these look good? Let's see here. Just making pattern, pattern, pattern. dots like that have our pocket using this pen these uh, ink tense pencils again and I'm just going to do like a little rose in these just very quickly, not thinking too much about it. And let's see what happens when we wet those. It looks like little, little roses maybe. We could take our uh, green and let's see we could put little stems and some like a little stem and some leaves Some little stems and leaves going on. When I finish this page, see this paper is uh, kind of thin, so we'll um, so I'll put it under a book. But I like that. That's cute. Okay. Now, if we put glue that on, oh yeah, we've got like a little. garden going on just some pretty colors this has got some teals in it too we could we could put a little teal on let's see
So I'm going to take some of, uh, there's some teal in this, my, my pocket. So I'm going to take some teal and I'm just going to go around these a couple times. See if I can pull in just a little bit of teal. Might just put a few bits of it here and there. Again, not thinking too much about all of this, but I thought since there's some teal in this my pocket, my inspiration has kind of been this pocket. And then I just touch it here and there. It looks like a little garden. I'm going to glue that on. Now I glue that on. And then we'll slide our first fairy. I might write her name right here. I think she looked like a Rachel. So I'll write Rachel on the pocket. And then I'll glue the pocket on. And then I'll slide Rachel down into the pocket. And that'll be our first little fairy page. So I think the last thing I want to do before I put this under some heavy books and flatten everything out, I love her little fairy. She fits right down into her pocket. But I think I want to, um, I'm going to extend these, some of these stems off the page. So it kind of uh, incorporates our pocket into the page. I think I want to lighten. I think I'm going to take some of this. Uh, light pink I think I, I might get rid of some of these leaves and kind of have a um, quiet space up here. Not so busy. Let's see here if we... That way the Rachel would stand out more. Might have to go over this twice, but that's the thing. You can, um, you can add stuff and then if you don't love it, you can take it back out. Soften right around the name. I'll leave that one over here on the edge. You can just keep painting and playing and adding stuff and taking it away till you like what you've got. So that's going to need another coat of paint, but I think I like that better. And I can always uh, because I like that pink. I'll add the pink back in, and it's okay if the um, if the things underneath show through a little bit. It makes it interesting, but. I just thought it might it got a little busy around her name, so I think I'm gonna knock that back some. I like the little leaves on this side coming up. So 
so you don't have to totally cover up everything. I'm just kind of hitting here and there and just standing back and looking at it. Yeah, I think her name stands out more now. I like that better. Okay. Let me add a little... Uh, while your paint's wet, and then if you add more color into it, it's just fun. I just hold the brush at the end, and I'm just sort of... I put a darker pink and then a lighter pink. Brought some of those leaves off from the side. I like her name now. Sometimes it's then fun to take your pencil and again just touch around. Just put in some little lines and I always like line work. I just uh, just kind of let the pencil now I'll add some pink back into it. think she's done. We have our little Rachel, little Rachel fairy. Like I said, once I, um, I'll put wax paper on this, put real heavy books on it and it'll flatten everything out. But I think she's cute. I like the, um, embellishments we did and the adding the leaves and lines. That looks like a a garden she slides right down in there so that is our first page in our book of girls they can be fairies they can be whatever we want them to be and I really didn't have a plan when I started I just I had this pocket that I liked and I just uh, went with the colors and just as I love dots and circles and stencils and leaves um, and I've always enjoyed um, drawing the girls and I know I know you love drawing girls Lily so I think you will have fun with this and I love you, and that was fun.